Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am, back once again at the Virgin Money offices. Never away from this place. We do uh, have different suits as well. I think we've. Uh, oh, oh yes. Probably so I think we're just wearing the same one. Yeah. It's just co <laughs> just coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, they all think I wear the same suit every day. Uh, anyway, Carl, which I do, to be fair. <laughs> um, so today, Carl, this is episode four, and we're going to talk today about uh, debt in various forms, so credit cards, mortgages. But more specifically, zooming in a little bit on the interest rate charges for different types of credit and loans, yeah. that sort of thing. So there's probably two sides of the coin. There's the banking side where we want customers who will pay a rate of interest. That's how we make money as a bank. And then there's the customer side, which is how they manage those interest rate payments without damaging their credit score or falling into default and becoming bankrupt as a result. Because at the end of the day, Virgin Money, any bank, they're profit-seeking yeah. enterprises, aren't they? So exactly. The more people we have who have mortgages with us that are paying a high rate of interest, and you know we're we're able to fund that through savings accounts that we pay a low rate of interest on, that creates what we call uh, net interest income, uh, and allows the bank to make profit, which we then return to our shareholders who've invested in us. Uh, and continue to pay our staff and, and manage the business accordingly and allow it to grow from there. So interest rate is an inherent thing in the financial sector. Customers are always going to be paying interest to banks, it's, it's just the way it works. But you as a saver or a borrower need to be aware of the fact that if you take out a financial product that has a high rate of interest on that you can't afford to pay, then you run the risk of getting into the danger yourself, not being able to manage your payments accordingly and potentially bankrupting. Uh, as, as a result of that.